Okay, well, we're just talking about the rarity of a Singer sewing machine and the value. And we get this question all the time. All right, now we're going to go to the, the year 1900 because I happen to have a Singer Model 27 shown here from the year 1900. Now, let's see, shown here. Okay. All right. So we see that on January 4th of that year, just that day, just that day. Now, for the Model 27, there were 25,000 made on January 4th. Now, let's go down. Let's find. Now I'm going to have to scroll a little bit now. We're only going for a few days here. Okay. Uh, the next time we see the Model 27 is on February 7th. One month later, they made 30,000 Model 27s same year. Okay? All right. Now, let's go down. I'm figuring that it's probably going to be within the next month. Um, it's a 27.4. Okay, there we go. April 2nd, Model 27, they made 30,300. Okay. Now, March, April. This is not exactly what I'm looking for. Let me, let me find the just the Model 27. All right, here we are in May. They made 35,800. Okay. Now this is still in the year 1900 and we're still in the early part of the year. Okay, let me go down here. We're not looking for the ones that have different any different digits. We're just going for the model 27. Okay? 30,000 of them were made July 30th. This is just at this particular location. We're not talking about the ones that were made in other places. Just this location. Here, September, another 30,000. That, that's a lot of machines for the year 1900. Um, here we go, September. Again, these were made in Montreal, Canada. This says over here. Okay. So in September, in Montreal, there were also there were 20, there were 30,000 made in the U in the U.S. and, and 30,000 made in Montreal, Canada. Where am I? Uh, no, 4,900 made in Montreal, Canada. Excuse me. Sorry. That's still a lot of machines. All right, we're still in the year 1900. Let me keep going here. All right, in December, there were 20, uh, the Model 27, there were 30,500 made. Okay, all right, so that concludes the models made in the 1900 year. Now, I should have added those up. I should have had a calculator sitting here. But you can just simply rewind this video and type back through that. All right, now, wh what is this website? Let me show you what this website is. This is the website, okay? This has all kinds of good information on it. You've got, let me click this tab, research. All right, and it's got information about sewing machines. You've got, see here? You've got all kinds of things that are gonna come up on here to tell you about different machines. Singer Sewing Machine Company. You've got cabinets, history, household models, industrial models. So many times I see somebody say, oh, I have this industrial singer for sale. And, um, you know, probably, no, you don't. Probably what you have is a household model. You know, an industrial model looks, you know, kind of different. See what I'm saying? These are really old ones, more than likely, uh, this is a 12K. These are um, old industrial models. All right, so you see this information is, is plentiful, but um, this would probably uh, be a little more rare than these uh, ones that you're normally seeing people post. Okay, this is an industrial antique machine okay all this information is available online okay this is an industrial machine it's a 3115 it's a tailor's machine 
Okay. Handling large quantities of material in irregular form. Right? This is um just to show you what this is all about. Alright? You've got your different cabinets here. It tells what the number of the cabinet is, what it looks like. Alright, it's gonna tell if you if you get into this and start looking, it's gonna tell because once you get the number, you can look this up on the site. Number 40, and it'll tell how many of these, whoops, I'm down here again, how many of these were made. All right. So with that being said, <laughs> we can get over here to this machine. Let's, let's go to this machine, for instance. Now, this machine's serial number, oh, let me see. This one's not a good example because they lost the records for the ones that started with a C, okay? That, that had to do with the war. Let's go with the F here. I believe this one is available. F. 5161. Now we can do enough looking with that. F5161. Now let's go over here to the back to the list. F5161. Oh, get back. Back up and get to where I need to be. One more click. Oh, come on. One more click. Okay, F. We're looking for a machine. Here's the F. 5161, so we're going to scroll down until we find this. All right, here's 51. Should be right here. This machine was a 1910. Let's see what, make sure I'm in the right category here. Quantity allotted. Okay, let's see, where's the 5161? Where did it go? Down here, okay. Um, this one was made in Scotland. Make sure I got the right one. Five, no, it's here. Okay. 1910. 29K. And there were 17,000 made. For this 29K. Jump down here. There's some more made. See what I'm saying? Um... So you just look this up and it tells you how many, and, and this is on one given date period between the, well, th these are a little more, okay, a little more rare, I guess you could say. But you can, you can look this up, this information. You can determine from the actual numbers, is my machine a rare machine? Okay. And that'll tell you a little more about it. Just because it looks old and you pulled it out of your grandpa's barn doesn't mean it wasn't one of 300,000 made in two years. Which doesn't make it rare at all. Is it a great piece of equipment because it lasted so long? Yes, it is. But rare? Oh, not so much. You know what? If I were to take... Let me see. All right, I'm going to go over here. Let's go to this Singer 301 right here. I picked this machine up. And I gave, I believe I gave $70 for this machine. And then I spent five and a half hours cleaning, oiling, and adjusting this machine. Now, you, you've got this out of your grandpa's barn and you want to sell it to me for $300? Yeah, you probably should take it into a shop and let them charge you the two or three hundred dollars they're going to charge you to clean it up and then try to sell it for that well, see I didn't just oil the inside and make it work like they're going to do at a shop and charge you an outrageous amount of money for inside and out was thoroughly cleaned okay but what I'm saying to you is this honestly the people that restore these machines love these machines. We want to see someone else. Do we resell them? By all means, we do. There's only so many that you can fit in your house. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. But we do want to see someone take this into their home and make quilts on it again. This piece of equipment will last for another 50, 60 years if it's cared for properly. 
and I will be here to service this again, or someone like myself. Um, these adorable little, this is from the 50s, I think this one's a 52, it's between 52 and 56, I cannot remember. I'm going to be honest with you, I'll have to look it up. I cannot remember all of these things, and, well, I probably could, but I haven't tried. How about that? Beautiful, beautiful old machines. This is a Nietzsche. That is a Faf. These old machines are absolutely beautiful. They were made by the thousands. They are not rare. Harder to find. Very desirable, yes. But your average machine is probably not worth three to five hundred dollars. Okay. Now, if I've offended you, I'm sorry. No, I probably am not sorry. I don't mean to. And if you've taken it that way, I'm sorry that you have. I mean only to inform and be helpful. And would be glad to try and answer any questions you have. And if I can't, I will find somebody who is smarter than I am and they will. But refurbishing these old machines and getting them back into service is a great thing. So, if I've helped you to become better informed about older sewing machines, then great. And if we're saving a little bit of the planet by not throwing things away, even better. All right. I love old things. They're beautiful, they're wonderful, and they can last a lifetime if they're cared for properly. I respect anybody that takes the time to clean up and refurbish these things enough plastic walmart china crap everybody have a great day please subscribe